pants. <laughs> you look great. Oh, it's so nice to have you here, ladies. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank look at us, good power. power. Yes. 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 So, uh, um, I hope you're enjoying our comfy couches. It's my little, like, a living room setup, and I hope you don't mind my guests. <laughs> it's a big living room. Yeah, it's a big yeah. living room. It's, it's smaller in the, oh, from the outside. <laughs> uh, and our lovely audience, if you have questions to our guests, you are free to go ahead to the microphone there, and you can line up and ask questions. They can be asked in English, no problemo. But before, uh, we start with that. Wow, it's um, the hundred. It's such a feminist show, and every time I meet people from the hundred, I always feel badass by like dissoci like association. <laughs> because you know, because it's like yes, power. Like let's do it. Like, like I think women should run the world. Uh, did you have the same similar feeling on the set? Yes, uh, because I was the doctor and the mom. Um, it took me four and a half seasons to uh, be able to have a gun. Oh. They wouldn't allow me because I was the doctor. Yeah. So, but yeah, definitely, it, it, there was a lot of strength there. Yes. And it's lovely as a woman to feel that. It is. Do you know it? Yeah, it really is. Um, and he, uh, Jason Rothenberg actually really maintained it. Like, it wasn't just like one character, it was everyone. Even Across the board. I just couldn't have a gun, but <laughs> with strength in other ways. Yeah, that's right. So all of us, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was nice coming in in the morning too, because a lot of our like you go through hair and makeup, and oftentimes on other shows you got makeup. <laughs> let me let me finish. I got dirt. That's and that's where I'm going. So you come in in the morning, and normally it's an hour of glam makeup and hair, hour and a half. Instead, it was a layer of tattoos, scars, blood, dirt, sweat, and then if you were lucky, maybe you got like a coat of mascara or something. Yeah. <laughs> but how fun was that? Yeah. So fun. And then it's being the eldest, kind of, sort of, as a female, so I think I was, oh, ouch. Um, but I loved it because I would go in and say, okay, put the dirt here. I would smile and go, dirt here, hide those wrinkles. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. It's kind of like, you know, when we talk about kids, the show was in so many ways, um, like when you play dress up yes. as a kid. I mean, it's a pretty heavy subject matter. But, um, I hope that wasn't your dress up as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I get Oops. Um, but they were always a doctor. Nice. Which is ironic. This has been a big theme in your life. Yeah. And absolutely. Like it. Except my Barbie didn't have a logo. <laughs> we should make the 100 Barbie. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, we do that. Boy, boy, mine would have a gun, yours would have a brain. If they only had a brain. <laughs> Did you ladies uh, have any creative uh, freedom for your outfits or your makeup? Except like putting dirty and switching points. Oh, I, by the time you go into wardrobe, they already have it all. Oh, yeah. it's done. I think I'm the only one who had kind of a wild um, ride. Was it six episodes where I was like not well and self-medicating? Um, but I picked out my wardrobe that I thought was really cool because I was tired of being in a doctor's car. Yeah. And um, they put it together for me. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am insane. So I walk on set. And Ian says to me, oh my, that is a, what is that, a menopausal chest of the What? <laughs> Ian? That is no lie. If he was here, he would laugh. It was what? hysterical. What was it? What? Describe it. I voice. had so many belts <laughs> on. And I thought it was really cool. <laughs> Until they were on the side of the map. And I had to use the restroom. Yeah, that's an issue. That was always an issue on the show. It's a love it was like, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Twenty minutes. But it was cool. I did like it. it was in the Mad Max. I mean, we I were. If you look back at it now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. Yeah, I'm gonna see Metapausal that as well. <laughs> Do not Google Metapausal Chassis. Oh, okay. No, please, I'm not going down. Yeah. 
Well, thank you so much, and I think we have some questions from the audience, so let's look at that. Sure, just one, one sec before we start. I just want to say hello to everyone. We're sending our love. Oh, wow. Um, uh, Marie will make it here if she can. She's being caught up with something else, but you're going to have to put up with us in the meantime. Sorry. Okay, I we're think, back. I think we can manage. We're back with us. So we're good. Thank you. Thank you for staying. All right, go ahead. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hi. I was wondering how difficult was it to learn uh, the triad thing? Did you ever speak that? I don't think they were very smart with me because uh, I never. <laughs> they, they didn't want to run long at their day. Because <laughs> I kept saying, "Why am I not?" And they. No. I think it's better than not. <laughs> I had a lot. had a lot. Yeah. Though, right. You did too. Yeah, I did too. You know, they gave it to us phonetically like syllable by syllable, and they gave it to us early so we could learn it. And I, I found it was actually really fun, uh, but I had to have it in advance. And I couldn't, if you ask me, I can't remember any of it off the top of my head. But Let's ask her. No, <laughs> just, you're not gonna get anything, but go ahead. Uh, but it wasn't too bad. As long as you had enough time to memorize it, it was okay. I, I was never asked to memorize it or speak it, but it was so much fun then not really knowing the inner workings of it, but hearing other people speak it, because I just would pick up random words that I liked to think I was hearing. Like there was a, a fight scene, or not fight scene, like a captivity scene of On My Knees, and Michael Beach, who plays Pike, came out and was like, War Wonton! I'm pretty sure he didn't say War Wonton, but we just had to He was not ordering a suit. No, and we were trying to be so serious, but that's all I could keep hearing, so it was enjoyable to listen to. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Next one, please. Hello, uh, I was wondering if you could rewrite the end of this series, what would you do and why? I would be alive. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> we would uh, go off on a spaceship and become space pirates. Ooh, Ooh I like that. I think that would be really fun. I'm gunning for this as a spin-off. Yes, as a spin-off. Could I be hanging off the side of Simone? Just a hanging on. Yeah, we'll give you great like miracle spaces. Yes. yes. Yeah. I like the thing we should tell we get it. All female spin off of the hotel. Why not? It actually would be really cool we if we could tell the ones who survive. Yes. Let's just make it ourselves, guys. Yeah, there we go. We'll yeah. start writing. <laughs> None of us will write the TV show. I have to say, though, the fun thing for me, because I was off the show that season, and when I got the phone call to come back for the finale, he said, Would you kind? Godlike. So I had this image in my head that I was going to be Alanis Morissette, you know, in that, I can't remember the name of the movie, it's embarrassing, but she had this beautiful like white ethereal. dress up, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he got there and I was like, okay, I'm money, and I have no idea what I'm doing, I've lost track. <laughs> was it? Well, it was it? But I was down in New Orleans. I do, I wanted to be a Lamps Morissette. I was Who disgusting. I know, I know. It's fun. It's Lamps Morissette material. Okay, wait, though, what would your answer be? Like, so mindset was that I would love to live. If you could think of a different... Has everyone, everyone's finished the show? Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean no? Okay, if you have not finished the show, raise your hand. Okay, we're going to you. Okay, cover your ears right now. <laughs> I did not know. <laughs> I did not know that. Eh, eh, eh. That's that it. Eh. Yeah. Does that make sense to everyone? Do we get that? No. Okay. Finish the show, guys. Okay. Moving on. I have a question. Absolutely. 
thank you for joining us. Thank you. 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 Thank I was like, this is a really fun word. I want that thing. Because we were talking about it in the ride from the airport yeah. yesterday, and then when I got to the hotel, they had it on room service. I was like, do I dare call and try to pronounce this word? Did you? No. You were... I just stared at it for a long time, really hungry. And then Marie brought me home a salad. <laughs> it's not very good. What is it? Right? Can someone tell me what it's to be? Either ballin? It's no waffles. Waffles. Yeah, also delicious. Really Oh, what is a beet? What is a beet? What is a beet? It's kind of salty. Go on. That's going great. Don't ever be a chef if you have to describe food and you just say salt. Yeah, it's salt. It's salt. It's salt. Okay. Listen, if you guys have beer balling in your purse or whatever the hell, I'd like to eat one later. You're going to get a lot of beer balling. Yeah, that's what I said. Thank you. I'm going to wish you more here. Thank you so much. Nice question, please. Uh, hi. Is there anyone you would wish you would have more scenes with? Ooh, great. Lexa, Lexa, Lexa. I think that's everybody, though. I wanted scenes with Indra. Yeah. Because I just wanted to work with Athena Porter. Yeah. Because she's she so amazing. cool. She was cool. She is cool. I wrote a custom. Well, plus, I thought it would be, I mean, she was such a core part of the grounder world that Amori was cast out of, I thought it would have been interesting to see what, if that could have turned into anything. Octavia's uh, mentor was Etina Porter, Indra, and really taught her the grounder ways and how to become a warrior and um, fundamentally uh, showed her who she was on the inside, which, uh, like a lot of us, I think we could say a lot stronger than we think. Hi. Hi! So, um, I actually had a question for all of you, but Chelsea, we were talking about Joe's choice, and you asked me about mine, but I would like to know yours. I would just like to subtly announce that maybe someone randomly in the audience who may or may not be asking a question was up late last night drinking. <laughs> no! Uh, and I said, what was your- Nobody drinks! I said, what was your drink of choice, and you said, I don't remember. <laughs> um, oh, okay, I guess I'll, I'll take part. Uh, I'll take anything that won't kill me. Uh, Jameson, I like a, like a good shot of Jameson. Or heavy red wine. I like athletic greens. Does anybody take oh, it? Oh, <laughs> It tastes like the lawn. I know you you, you drink it as well, Lori. But it does the body good. I thought we were talking. You gotta be drinking that. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Paige just said she drinks that with alcohol? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. When I'm not having it's athletic greens. It's something you have like, before coffee in the yeah. morning. I'll do a nice martini. Yeah. Oh, like what? Like, oh, I'm a huge Sex and the City, city fan. I oh, really yeah. enjoy a cosmopolitan if they make it right. Yeah. What about you, Paige? Uh, I don't know. Damn it, they have a lemon drop. Ooh, well, lemon I, just like, I just normally have like, a really good red one. Yeah. Solid. Or a mojito. So tonight Depends we're going to lemon yeah. drops and feeder bone. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go out some beta ball. That sounds like a light. I'll send you the recipe. Yeah. So what is your drink of choice? Salt. Uh, well, my drink of choice is obviously the ones that uh, I don't remember about. So, um, <laughs> no, I really love a good gin and tonic, and then specifically like Hendrix or like a uh, more spiciness to my gins. And I also drink. Anything else. <laughs> Whatever doesn't kill me. Whatever works. Oh, yeah. Great answer. Thank you so much. I'm so happy no one here said a tall glass of milk because I don't be so sick. <laughs> now you did. <laughs> Next question, please. I, uh, I just want to say I love this show and I've seen it more than I can count on two hands. Uh, and you all made me cry so much at some point in the show. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for crying my ears, uh, my eyeballs out. Uh, I have a question for Paige. Um, I was wondering how did it feel for you to suddenly um, switch characters and into being Simone at some point of the show, at actually like the end? 
Uh, how was it to change your roles? On, um, on a surface level, it was actually a lot of fun to be glammed up after being in dirt and, you know. <laughs> so that part was fun. Um, you know, it, because the character is so broad, um, I did a little bit of research uh, with the actress uh, playing Simone and watched her work. Uh, not too, too much, but um, I think it was more interesting for me uh, watching um, all my castmates who are so used to me being Abby look at me like, what is she doing pulling that gun up and why does she have jewels on? <laughs> so it was, I think maybe the rest of the cast had a weirder time than I did. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I still kind of look like me, and so uh, yeah. the expectations. But you know, initially it was it was kind of fun. You know, it was really hard for the watchers. I think. I'm Before sorry. <laughs> you know, they're, it, they're, yeah, I asked get this a lot that they weren't happy with the way my character died. Uh, Spoiler. Oh I think it was hard. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> but um, you know, it was twice. Almost smart that way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, that my daughter didn't have to experience that because I was already gone. Or happy. Yeah. And Paige was gone <laughs> ultimately. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. I mean, it was fun. You have to kind of look at it that way. The, it was really difficult, the last scene with. Uh, with, with Eliza, thing. yeah, because um, we worked so much together and there was so much depth there um, and love and that was difficult. Yeah, and because, really emotions come through as well. Yeah, and, and that was tricky, you know, and I think that's why they wrote it that there's a couple lines in there where um, I'm playing her and I'm playing it being Abby. Yeah. So I got to release it a little bit, but it, it was still, that was the most complicated of it all. Really. Okay. Thank you, all, and enjoy your sleep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next question, please. Hello. So I have a little bit of random question. It's had nothing to do with the 100, but because I'm wearing a Gryffindor cloak, I'm wondering if you like Harry Potter and which is your house. Um, Oh, okay. Louise, I already know because we talked about it. I know, I look straight at her because I'm just a fan. <laughs> I love Harry Potter, the books. I don't mind the movies too, but I just love the books. And I, I, t I would not take that online test for the longest time to see which house you're in because I thought there's no way a test online can tell me something this special, but Sachin basically made me do it. And you know what? I actually thought it was a pretty good test, and I got Ravenclaw. Which, since I run a book club, I'm like that kind of checks out. <laughs> I, for some reason, I just always say Slytherin. I just feel like a bad. Yeah, definitely are. Also, I agree. Uh, Tom is here from uh, yeah. from Harry Potter, and yesterday, or, hey, Louisa met him. She's like, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. It was so cute. I had to give him a hug. It was so cute. <laughs> what about you, ladies? I, I, I watched. It over and over, but it was my son's favorite. Um, I don't know. I, I did get the hat that you can get. Yeah. Like, the yeah, yeah, that's you, the talking the sorting hat. Oh, sure. the, the sorting hat. Yeah, the talk, yeah, the sorting hat. Yeah. Sorry. And I, 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 I have to be honest, I loved it the first four times when we got to 15, and I got a little burnt out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, that's what happened. And I'm sure, you know, because I was April in the Turtles, and I, I'm sure that there are mothers out there that can't stand me. So, you know, I'm here to get them again. But if I were to guess, maybe a mixture between, I probably bounced from Slytherin to Gryffindor. Oh. That makes the perfect answer. <laughs> I, I think, I think, but I think she silently would want to be a Slytherin. See, then the hat would have made you decide. <laughs> well, I thought the hat decides for you. It, but there's it been no choice involved when oh. you're on the class. Uh, I think that Gryffindor. Okay. Is just, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. 
What about Marie? Marie? Can I be the one? <laughs> oh, I love you so much. Of course you can. Thank you for your question. Thank you. Thank you so much. The next question, please. Hi. Uh, so I... <laughs> so I actually didn't watch the show with my... Get out of here! <laughs> so my, my best friend, she's a big fan of the series, and um, I didn't caught Marie on camera when she said her iconic line. Can you say it one more time? Are you kidding? I just did it for everybody. <laughs> yeah, these... <laughs> You wait. Right. She will. She just called me a bitch, so I, I'll do it. But I want to film this. Can we all do it together? Or are we yes. Yeah. Yes. Do a stretch. It'll make you feel better. It's been a long. Okay. I'm gonna film this. I'm gonna start this way and pan all right. the way here. And, and you guys, you through. guys know the lines, so you have to do it with me on the count of three. Are you ready? And your arms better be up in the air, or else I'm leaving back to Canada. <laughs> yes. Oh. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, 
because we really didn't, after that season, have a lot of interaction, did we? They were at odds, I think, a lot after that, definitely. Yeah. But, yeah, we, we but had I, a lot of difficult moments in the dark year in the bunker together. Yes, but I think after... Oh, gosh, it's hard to... Like, so much happened. So much happened. Do you know what I mean? It's like so hard to organize it, but I think... I don't know, was it difficult for your character to have, like, kind of... I was never a mother figure to you, though, was I? I think no, it was really. really difficult for Octavia to be told what to do, yeah. especially because she was in that leader position at that yeah. point. She had to sort of figure it out for herself and for the people for survival, ultimately. That's a really hard question, because we had a very different dynamic than yeah. even Abby and... Which is the answer. We, we, we definitely had a different dynamic. Yeah. Uh, you and I led in different ways. You were on the arc, I was on the ground. But I think we had tremendous respect, no for matter what, for one another. We did. You know, I, I think that that's the element that, no matter what happened, we still had that respect. And I had that respect for you as Clark's mother, ultimately, so, yeah. Great I loved that scene. Yeah, I loved the scene that we had at, uh, in the bunker. We were sitting at a table. Remember, we were really going through what we needed to do. Yeah, it was you know, terrible. And it was just painful. You could see yeah. that for both of us, actually, middle or to yeah. remain able to hear what the other right. one needed and wanted. I remember sitting in a room with this many background actors and having to convince everybody to eat their brothers and sisters and I literally had a vomit bucket off camera and I was throwing up after every time when they said cut because I convinced myself that this is what we were actually doing was eating our brothers and sisters. It was awful. But that that's was really, really uh, it wasn't, it was jello, guys. It was jello <laughs> with chunks of food in it to make it look yeah. disgusting. And you they made it amazing. Our prop, he was amazing. Yeah, and amazing. it looked really so awesome. real that it really was hard. Yeah. That's a fantastic question. Thank you for asking. Do you think you yes. eat jello you now? Ever? I haven't since. Would you touch jello now at all? Maybe on my deathbed. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question, please. Hi, <clears throat> Jimena. Uh, my question is for everyone. Uh, not everyone here, but everyone on stage. Um, if you had to pick a different character to play, what would it be? Which one would it be? Helios. Helios? <laughs> a horse? Yes. A horse? A horse? <laughs> Why do I know that? Do you know who Helios yeah. is? Yeah. Oh, I was special. My butt name. Even on the horse oh goes all, all weekend. Um, I, I'm just going to answer Indra again because, again, great answer. the Dean of War. But also, you can't I mean, match that. You can't match a Dean of But uh, Indra, I'd love to try Indra. Yeah. <laughs> My answer always oscillates between Alexa and Octavia. I just think such badass warriors. Um, they got to choose violence and Harper just kind of chose peace most of the time. And also, when I walked on stage on set, what season was it where you had like that dark, those three dark across your eyes? Like dark, dark makeup? Three, I think so. I don't know, but I walked on the trailer and you looked over and your blue eyes were glowing out of that makeup and I was like, damn, she looks hot. My eyes are green, but thank you. Three blue to you. Anyway, I just want to look that hot, so I, I like to be Maria Andropolis in real life. Oh, you're sweet. Just when we go. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Kate? Um, I, I, Octavia, you know. I'm terrified of horses, but... Helios! You know, it was more of me watching her, but I don't think I could move that way anymore. I don't think I would get up if I fell down. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'd be Octavia. It's too cool. If you could be a character, who would you be? Yeah, obviously Octavia. Oh, I Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So Side note here, Marie is incredible at stunts. You are really, really good. Yeah. Yes. yes. So it's really amazing. amazing that she did motorcycle like, like, riding. Yeah. Yeah. That's fearless. I'm blushing. That's right? why I said I want to be Marie after all. So if anybody ever asked, did you get along with your cast? The answer is yes. <laughs> We're all friends. Yeah, I think they're like you. <laughs> Hi, guys. You guys, we have to well, Hi. Last one question, so go ahead. Hi, first of all, thank you so much for making the being a part of the 100. It was such 
such an important part of my teenage years, so thank you so much. Uh, my question is, what was your, what were your favorite and least favorite locations to shoot in? My favorite was the woods when it was sunny, and my least favorite was the woods when it was raining. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Um, in the bunker scene, like season two, three, we're in the bunker and I was in a cage above Monty Carver. It was like cage above Monty. And when you film, you film your own coverage. So the camera's on my face and then the camera's on his face. But I was very emotional and crying, but it just looked like I was peeing on him from the... <laughs> So that was my least favorite. Like, that's my most favorite. No. Uh, least. Most favorite. I loved it in season three when Harper was pinned down and drilled for bone marrow. Oh. I kind of like being in the bunker. It's kind of fun to play with that. Two. Season two. Season two. <laughs> I should watch the show. My least favorite and most favorite is a funny story. It's in the top ten. I got many. But, um, do you guys remember Diosa? Yeah? Good answer. Okay, everybody's still awake. Um, so we were stuck in slime up to our necks for a good 12 hours that day while we were waiting for the anomaly. And she was actually, in real life, about seven or eight months pregnant. So if anyone, women in here, have been pregnant, they understand that they have to pee often. <laughs> And I had to go, not being pregnant, just by sitting in the cold slime in December in the middle of the woods. So we both looked at each other as girlfriends, fully clothed, and we're no. like, no. I gotta go. She's like, I gotta go. So we both just peed no. all day. No. In the exact same no. way. All day long. And from that moment on, we were friends. Do you still think we're sexy after that? <laughs> Thank you. 